I'm Miss Leah G and welcome to my channel. For today's video, ituturo ko kung paano gumawa ng SSS online account. But before tayo mag-proceed, alamin muna natin kung ano ba yung information at documents na dapat nating i-ready bago tayo mag-start ng registration bukod sa ating basic information. Bale guys, meron tayong dalawang information na dapat nating i-prepare. First is yung inyong SSS number and second yung information na ilalagay natin para sa registration preference. Andiyan po sa screen yung mga required na information para sa inyong registration. Pili lang po kayo dyan ng isa kung ano po yung available. Make sure lang na nakaregister po yung information na pipiliin nyo sa SSS. Okay, so let's start! First is pupunta lang tayo sa Google Chrome at itype ang www.sss.gov.ph Then pag nasa portal na kayo ng SSS, i-click nyo lang yung How to Register and pag nasa My.SSS Registration na tayo, i-click lang yung Registration. Then dito sa Members Login Portal, i-click lang yung Register. After nyan guys, may mag a na reminder from SSS na ka-indicate dyan yung mga na-discuss ko kanina. Pwede nyo rin yan basahin, then i-click yung I certify, then click proceed. Next step is i-fill out lang yung online member user ID registration. I-input lang natin yung data na hinihiningi ni SSS. First is yung SSS number nyo or yung CRN na nasa UMED card. And then next is ilalagay natin yung ating email address. So dapat guys, active yung email address natin dahil may ipapadala si SSS na verification link sa ating email. Okay, so i-input lang ulit natin yung email address to confirm. The next is yung preferred user ID. So, sa paggawa ng user ID, guys, sundin lang natin yung instruction na nakalagay dito. And then, input natin yung preferred user ID. So, ito yung ginagamit pag maglalagin tayo sa SSS online account natin. The next is susupply lang natin yung ating basic info like yung surname, given name, and middle name. So guys, sa suffix, kung meron kayong junior, senior, or the third sa inyong pangalan, so ilalagay nyo yan dito. Pero kung wala naman, just leave it blank. Next is yung birthday. So input na lang natin directly yung ating birthday. So with month, day, and year format. Then after natin ma-input yung birthday, so may lalabas na confirmation page. Yan. So confirmation na ating age. So kung tama naman, just click OK. Then, after mo maklik yung OK, next is yung address. So, kung wala naman kayong room or floor unit, so leave it blank. Same din sa house or lot and block number. So, pwede kayong mag-start sa street number na. And then, sa after ng street is yung inyong subdivision or purok or compound. So, after nyo ma-input yan, so mamimili kayo kung kayo ba ay nasa Metro Manila or province. Pindintot nyo yan, so lalabas lahat ng cities or provinces sa Philippines. I-click nyo lang yung inyong province or yung city. The next is city or municipality. So, mamimili lang din ulit kayo dyan. Same with sa barangay. After nyo maklik yung inyong barangay, automatic lalabas yung postal code. For foreign mailing address naman, kung di naman siya applicable, just leave it blank. So, last na i-inputan natin na data is yung registration preference. Mamimili lang tayo dito ng isang information na pwede nating i-provide para ma-validate ni SSS yung ating registration. So, ako ang pinili ko dito is yung employer ID number since eto yung available. Then, ilalagay mo lang yung number ng employer, check yung I'm not a robot, and yung I accept the terms of service, then click submit. So guys, hindi nag-proceed yung ating application since my problem ang user ID. So guys, papalitan lang natin yung user ID. Gagawin kong capital letter, yung first letter ng user ID. So, yun. Then, i-input ko lang ulit yung bagong preferred user ID. Then, after nyan, ikiklik lang natin yung um, I'm not a robot and yung I accept the terms of service, then click submit. So, after nyan, may lalabas na confirmation page. So, nandyan yung lahat ng data na in-input natin. So, kung wala namang problem, just click confirm. Then, do you want to continue? Click lang natin yung OK. After maklik yung OK, 
ibig sabihin niyan, successfully submitted na ang ating SSS Web Account Registration Application. So, next step niyan is magpapadala na si SSS ng system notification link sa ating email address para ma-access naman natin yung pag-set ng ating password. So, madalas nasa junk mail po talaga ito. Pero dito sa pinresent ko, nasa inbox na siya kasi, kasi na-move ko na siya. So, yun lang guys. Once na nasa junk mail siya or spam mail, i-move nyo siya sa inbox dahil yung link na nakalagay doon, hindi nyo siya makiklik once na nasa spam mail pa siya. Once na na-move nyo na siya sa inbox, so, i-click nyo lang itong click here. So, then, next step niyan is pupunta siya sa setting password. So, lalabas dyan yung inyong user ID. So, mag input lang kayo ng inyong preferred password. Click submit, then click OK. So, yun guys, pwede nyo na ma-access yung inyong SSS online account. Pwede nyo na ma-view yung inyong SSS notifications and ang inyong members info. Then, pwede nyo na rin ma-inquire ang inyong SSS contributions at may access na rin kayo sa benefits and other short-term loans services and PRN. So, yun lang guys. Huwag nyo kakalimutan i-log out yung inyong SSS account every time na matapos nyo siyang gamitin para hindi ma-access na ang ibang tao. So, yun lang guys. Disclaimer lang din po na lahat ng information na inilagay ko po dito sa video na to ay dummy account or dummy info lang po yun for presentation purposes lang po. So, wala pong nagmamayari no ng any personal information. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na to at interested kayo sa mga video about HR-related matters, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video, and hit yung notification bell para maging updated sa ating latest videos. Kung meron naman kayong questions or topics na gusto nyo ma-feature, please comment down below. Yun lang guys! Thank you for watching! Bye!